and God that our hearts would gain for the better so that the latter rain of heaven will invade our space today. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen. Amen. And amen. Uh, <clears throat> the, the first thing that we must always remember about being uh, in covenant relationship with God is that God, first of all, before he can have a covenant with you and or I, he has to have a covenant with himself. Amen? Amen. And so when we talk about covenant, we must know that a person must have a covenant within himself first before they can have a covenant with anybody else. Amen? Uh, so it's, so, so uh, if, if I were to say that I love you, amen, and, and I love you, but I don't love me, amen, it's impossible for me to love you because if I don't know who I am and I don't appreciate the value of who I am, it's going to be hard for me to dispense love to anybody else. Therefore, I cannot just be the receiver of love if we are in a covenanted relationship, if we are in a covenant relationship together, I cannot just say that I love you, amen? You, you, you have to have some reciprocation and duplication to the covenant at hand. Otherwise, somebody is off kilter and offset in the covenant relationship, amen? If you went so far, say, I got you, I got you. Uh -huh, yeah, come on, talk, talk back to me, not to each other, but to me. And, 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 and so, 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 a covenant relationship essentially puts us in a clear out of understanding that God, in order to have covenant with us, must first have a covenant with himself. And so, therefore, we understand and decipher, ladies and gentlemen, that it is apropos and applicable for God to know and understand who he is as an individual first before he can reveal unto us who he is. What am I trying to say to you today? That God is so in love with himself and so in tune with himself that he's willing to share himself with you. He's willing to dispense himself for you. Is it not John 3, 16 that said, for God so what? Loved the world that he what? Gave a part of himself. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever would what believe in him, watch this, they shall receive everlasting life. They shall receive eternal life. God is in covenant relationship with himself to the point where not only does he see himself and loves himself, but if we were to go back to of Christ and understand from the genesis or the genesis of men, the beginning, the origin of anthropology, we find that in anthropology, just the study of man, if we look at man and understand anthropology, we must know that before God created man, he thought about man. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Yeah. Richard, better than you're responding. It's great. Yeah. Touch, and, and because he thought of man, he said, let us make man in our own image. Yeah. That, that should just serve about three sisters in here with Matthew and Mary Cain on their face today. Because what's this? Then somebody told you that you needed to edify yourself and enhance yourself in order to be a better you. But the devil is a liar. Because as long as you know that you've been made in the image of God, then it ain't nothing ugly about you. You can walk with arrogance, you can talk with swagger, because if you look like who God had called you to look like, baby, you're beautiful from head to toe. The weave is only your enhancement. Oh, ain't nobody got to say nothing up in there. But I wish I had about three seconds five on the ghost middle table. ascertain what covenant relationship is and what covenant relationship means. It says to us, ladies and gentlemen, that God is not interested in leaving his creation to fend for itself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nobody, nobody 
was hearing me. Amen. Uh, when you first have a baby, amen, and the baby is crying, you feel like kicking it like your name was out of the military for the Patriots to win a Super Bowl. Amen. Because it cries and cries and cries and cries. But you don't kick the baby like it's a field goal football. Amen. Amen. No, no, no. What you do is, is in the child's distress, you become stressed and you get up and you tend to the need of that child. Ladies and gentlemen, some of us in here are like that crying baby. But why do you tend to the need of the child? You tend to the child because that's So that's my baby. That's my baby. Thank you. 
Duncan, to Mortal Kombat, to every Marvel hero that you could ever, you saw the flying of the people, amen? amen? You saw Daniel swimming. I think I can, I think I can, amen? The people will lose teeth and black eyes will be established on white people if you talk about somebody's mom. Because I like to fight. Amen. Amen. But I ain't gonna lie. I'm, <laughs> what do you say? Real. <laughs> <Bring it. laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I, I, my preaching style is the way it is because I'm actually the way it is. Amen. He waits for me. 
And when I get on the bus, they all are laughing, not at me, but at my mother. <laughs> you want to talk about it? I was already in the mess. I started talking about armpit stains. I started talking about people's stank breath. I started talking about bad hair juice. Oh, I went in on everybody's mama. <laughs> Why are you talking? You talking about my mama? 